Jamila Veraswai is a savvy young professional who has a growing following amongst East Africa's fashion conscious. Um, jumpsuits and very simple dresses. Her operation is small but she has big hopes to one day sell in the large retail stores. She says her clients are the growing number of young African professionals who are hungry for modern fashion but with a local flavour. With a dress, I keep it simple as sort of a modern simple dress but with an African print. From the rack to the runway, slowly but surely, African fashion is growing from the inside out. The founder of the Swahili Fashion Week in Dar es Salaam says there's been a boom in the industry in the past five years. That's because designers can now more easily grow a following on the internet and because of the increasing number of fashion shows to showcase their garments. Any country talent has to be appreciated and at the end of the day fashion is a business and we have to grow the industry. <laughs> Africa's economy is expanding at an average of 4% each year and it has the world's biggest youth population. According to the World Bank, there are 200 million people between the ages of 15 and 25 in sub-Saharan Africa, and that's set to double in the next 30 years. That means a big available workforce for a domestic textile industry, and hopefully for these fashion designers, a big middle class who can buy their clothes. And Mustafa says it's time the world stopped seeing Africa through stereotypes and instead is a legitimate place of business and design. We're just not, I don't know, famine or some Ebola or something. We are more than that, you know. We have huge resources. We have the richness of the culture. We have the richness of our clothing. He says it'll be a long road to get Dar es Salaam on par with other bigger fashion hubs like New York or Paris. But designers like Jamila are already on their way, making a name for themselves one stitch at a time. Erica Wood, Al Jazeera, Dar es Salaam.